Ants are the great architects of the animal kingdom. Despite their tiny size, they are capable of building gigantic colonies. Within these kilometer-long tunnels, each family member plays a specialized role, thinking of the well-being of the community as a whole. In Brazil, an excavation revealed to the world a colossal subterranean city forged by the incredible leafcutter ants. Known for their extraordinary strength, they surpass mere organization and teamwork, being able to create true megalopolises. Earth Echoes delves into the earth to excavate the secret worlds of ants. Below our feet, these diminutive beings construct cities that defy the logic of human understanding. In every corner of the planet, from backyards to the most remote trails, ants make their presence known in nature. Their small and fragile structure doesn't immediately reveal the impressive capabilities of these insects. Ant hills are true living units, resembling a multicellular organism. Within these superorganisms, each individual plays a social role, ensuring the survival and success of the colony as a whole. These colonies demonstrate a level of cooperation and synchrony that few animals have achieved on the evolutionary scale. For this, ants work tirelessly, 24 hours a day. From the outside, ant hills reveal only a mound of earth with a modest entrance to their home. But like an iceberg, this is just the tip of a huge structure, meticulously planned and executed by these subterranean engineers. Below the ground lies a complex network of chambers and tunnels that form the backbone of these large, organized societies. These constructions can surpass the height of an adult human and last for several decades. These channels serve a wide range of activities, from storing food to serving as nurseries for the larvae. Within this stratified realm, the caste of ants is divided among workers, soldiers, reproductives, and queens. Each plays a systematic role, ensuring that the colony thrives even in the most inhospitable and unexpected environments. In southern Brazil, researchers have unveiled to the world one of the largest ant societies ever discovered on the planet. Professor Luis Forte from the Botucatu College of Sciences spearheaded the unprecedented project, which uncovered the true underground metropolis. To achieve this, the team of biologists devised a plan to fill a deactivated anthill with water mixed with cement. The mission required an impressive expenditure of 10 tons of mortar and three days of uninterrupted work. Subsequently, the biologists had to wait for 30 days, the necessary period for the concrete to dry completely. Only then could the project be resumed and the excavators swung into action on the ground. Gradually, the city of leafcutter ants was unveiled. The anthill boasted highways connecting chambers and secondary routes, which served as tributaries to the main tunnels. These tunnels are constructed to provide good ventilation and dynamic routes for circulation within this mega colony. Some of these pathways led to fungus gardens, while other routes emptied into depots, which functioned as trash bins. In the fungus gardens, the ants leave collected and chewed leaves, which serve as food for the fungi. As farmers, the ants cultivate the fungi. In return, the fungi produce the so-called fruiting bodies, which the ants consume as food. The entire structure discovered in this megalopolis spans an impressive area of 50 square meters, eight meters below ground. To achieve this, the ants had to move 40 tons of earth to build this impressive home structured like a true city-state. Leafcutter ants, also known as atta ants, are famous for their strong and muscular mandibles. They are called leafcutters due to their habit of cutting pieces of leaves from living plants, which are then carried into the nests. These leaves are used to cultivate a type of fungus, which serves as their main source of food. They also have glands that produce chemicals used to control the growth of the cultivated fungus. Their colonies can be extremely large, containing billions of individuals. Like leafcutter ants, Argentine ants are also known for forming super colonies that extend over vast geographical areas. A super colony entails billions of ants from different anthills, 
which can freely mingle without aggression. The species reached Europe via ships about 100 years ago and now constitute the largest known ant supercolony in the world. They stretch from northern Italy, through the southern coast of France and the entire Mediterranean coast of Spain to Portugal. The discovery, spanning a distance of over 6,000 kilometers, is reported in the American journal Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences. But not all species are friendly, and some impress with highly predatory and defensive behavior. The Dracula ant isn't named by chance. Imagine a bite with a speed of 320 kilometers per hour. Its attack is 5,000 times faster than the blink of a human eye, and so swift that it can crush prey larger than the ant itself. This extraordinary insect, found in Southeast Asia and Oceania, uses its abrupt movement to kill arthropods, which serve as food for the larvae. But this isn't the only species noteworthy for its phenomenal bite. The bullet ant, or huntress ant, possesses one of the most painful bites in the animal kingdom. Some victims of this unpleasant encounter report that the pain is comparable to being shot and the burning sensation can last up to 24 hours. Meanwhile, the sting of the jack jumper, also known as the jumping ant, can be fatal. Four deaths due to anaphylaxis from this ant were recorded in Tasmania between 1980 and 1999. Fortunately, there is now a process to reduce sensitivity and allergic response to the sting toxin. The Dinopanera gigantea, or giant ant, is the largest known species of ant in the world. Found in South America, especially in Brazil, they can reach up to five centimeters in length. These voracious predators are so large that they can be found in nature, feeding on small rodents and even amphibians. A study from Harvard University found that ants first appeared during the Cretaceous period, about 130 million years ago. They survived the meteorite impact that wiped out all dinosaurs and also the Ice Age. They are spread across every part of the planet, except for Antarctica and the Arctic. In the book Ants, researchers indicate that there are more than 10,000 species and 10 trillion living ants in the world. They represent about 20% of the terrestrial animal biomass, a number that exceeds the existing quantity of vertebrates. Ant queens are the longest lived. They can live up to 30 years, unlike workers who endure a maximum of three years of existence. Despite their tiny size, ants have two stomachs. One is used to store food for their own consumption, while the other holds food to be shared with their companions. Queens, for example, don't leave the anthills. Workers are responsible for fetching and distributing food, ensuring the health of the entire society. From afar, they may seem fragile, but up close, they can carry between 10 and 50 times their own body weight. All this strength results precisely from their smallness. Because of this, their muscles can concentrate a greater force relative to their own size. They don't have lungs and breathe through a series of holes located on the sides of their bodies. They also lack auditory canals, but can hear through special sensors on their feet, which pick up vibrations in the ground. Over millions of years, ants have evolved, developing unique characteristics and surviving the planet's diverse environmental changes. These and other adaptations make ants examples of biological and organizational efficiency continuing to astonish the scientific community. Earth Echoes returns from this fascinating journey into the subterranean world of ants, true examples of cooperation in society. They may be small in size, but they are giants for the balance of nature. If you enjoyed this content, type ants in the comments. Don't forget to like and share this knowledge. See you next time.